when you look into you know the 22 pound of muscle and got the five percent body fat and eight week claims by the stunt double using center fit you know that kind of shit is like deserves dismantling when they don't mention there's you know the use of gear whatsoever and they totally misrepresent the results you can get you know implying that when you use this app this is the kind of stuff you get you do to get thor results you know i just i just wish they would be more transparent with their shit. although his statements about supplements are not So guys, Derek, moreplaytornadies.com. Today we're going to be talking about Chris Hemsworth's four trainers saying protein shakes and creatine are a waste of time if you want to build muscle and burn fat. This was sent to me by a bunch of people recently. It was posted on insider.com earlier today. Here, basically they did an interview, I guess, with, Hem with Hemsworth's trainer. If you don't know, this is the guy who is in the Center Fit app. Um, Zoki, I might be fucking butchering that, Luke Zoki, but he's the guy who is featured in all the workout footage. You know, here he is with Hemsworth's stunt double for Thor, and uh, he's featured in all of the videos with Thor, um, or Hemsworth as well. Um, and he basically uh, is the main overarching trainer, I guess, for this whole fucking shebang, for the whole program, for Hemsworth's fitness-related content. And here he talks about what he thinks about whey, protein, and creatine specifically. He says, if you're trying to bulk up like the actor, Thor, you don't have to spend money on supplements like protein shakes to get the gains you desire. According to Luke Zoki, Hemsworth's longtime personal trainer and friend, he most recently trained Hemsworth for the, his role in Thor Love and Thunder. Eating good food and having a calorie surplus are more important. Zoki told Insider in an interview coordinated by Center, Hemsworth's wellness app that offers 10-week programs for all skill levels based on a specific training and diet for the film. He said the star makes the most of his gains through a combination of good nutrition and a rigorous workout regimen. So again, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, this is going to be a fucking disaster. But it's actually seems pretty reasonable, you know? He's basically like, I don't know if they just twisted the headline to be like, protein shakes and creatine are a waste of time. Like, it's a pretty fucking harsh statement when you actually hear what he's saying. It's basically saying if you have a nutritious diet model, you have the backbone of everything you need from a micronutrient and macronutrient standpoint. Do you need whey protein shakes on top or anything like that? Not really. Creatine, or is that something you're going to get though adequately through a you know decent diet model? Highly unlikely. You're probably going to need to be supplementing supplementing with it when you can only endogenously create about a gram a day, if I recall correctly. And for those with MTHFR polymorphisms and impaired methylation demands. Um, those individuals will probably benefit from exogenous supplementation. So I would not say that um, creatine is a waste of time. I would say, you know, whey protein could be a waste of time if you have enough protein through your diet. Again, are these wastes of time though? No, like they could be useful for guys who are deficient in these areas. If you eat enough meat, you know, you don't have any fucking genetic polymorphisms, then perhaps you don't need creatine supplementation whatsoever. Although we do see pretty good data reinforcing the efficacy of it as a ergogenic aid. And I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be adding it into your routine. With that said, you know, the whey protein, if you're already getting, you know, however much you need, you know, depending on your body weight, depending on your lifestyle, depending on whatever, depending on your diet model, depending on your, you know, all the different factors. Do you need protein shakes? No, you fucking don't, obviously, which it seems like it's basically what he's saying. While some supplements have benefits for fitness and fat loss, they can be expensive and unreliable due to lack of regulation. Rather than shelling out money for pills and powders, stay consistent with a healthy diet and focused exercise program. Definitely reasonable. Supplements only offer a small benefits at best compared to diet and exercise. Again, yeah, if you have a deficient diet model and you're not exercising, is having a fucking mutant mass gonna help you that much no like you're just gonna end up you know fat and shitty like it's not it's not the move despite what they some of the stuff is marketed as you know this will make you as jacked as jay color you know back in the day cell tech it would have definitely given you the impression that you're gonna look like a top you know bodybuilder just by using their shit you know they'd have before and afters of lee priest like binge eating and then you know cutting down it would be like here's this transformation and not mentioning how the guy is a top 0.0001 percent genetic fucking elite and is also on gear and is a genetic hyper responder to the gear zoki said people over rely on products like protein shakes or creatine to build muscle and burn fat people think things like protein shakes and creatine make a big difference but that's only about five percent of the equation zoki said Creatine, BCAs, and similar products can give you an edge, but only if you've already nailed down the basics of eating well, working out consistently. So obviously I would swap this with EAAs. Creatine, you know, obviously good. Is it, you know, 5% of the equation? 
who's going to put these these percentages? I don't like these breakdowns. It's always like, you know, what percent is diet? What percent is fucking nutrition? What percent is exercise? What percent is sleep? What percent is gear? It's like, you know, that's all up for interpretation. But obviously, they're not that important if you have a good diet model in place and getting whole foods is always going to edge out supplements. They're more of a convenience thing and something for, you know, maybe you prefer it, you know, for adherence to your diet. Maybe you feel fuller when you have, you know, a protein ice cream versus, you know, a fucking piece of chicken. Like, I, I don't know, you know, there are different reasons that justify implementing it and the level of importance and priority of it changes accordingly based on your individual goals, you know, your time, um, like, you know, convenience, tons of different fucking factors. There's also nothing magical about protein shakes. The main advantage to which of which is to provide concentrated nutrients to help round out your diet if you can't get enough from whole foods. Um, yeah, you know, that's not unreasonable to say. There is, you know, some, you know, satellite, you know, benefits of it, like having being a very potent precursor for, you know, glutathione, which obviously is a good thing to have, you know, peaked out, especially during the you know what right now. Um, you know, if it's something that you like the taste of, it helps you adhere to your deficit when you have protein ice creams or fucking, you know, protein pancakes or whatever, you know, that kind of stuff can be, you know, reasonable to add, although not the most, you know, micronutrient dense alternative of that, you know, protein ingestion. Like there are reasons above and beyond simply thinking it's, you know, a superior thing to have in your diet to actually implement them and make use of them. For Hemsworth's 4,500 calorie a day bulking plan, that can be helpful, but it's a small portion of his overall training and diet. And for the average person who isn't eating 4,500 calories, supplements are significantly less important than high quality food and regular gym sessions. I think they're just as important regardless if you're eating 4,500 calories or fucking not. It's dialing in the basics and sticking to the program to get results, Zoki said. It can also be difficult to know what you're getting in supplements since they don't need to be FDA approved. So many products contain fillers, unreliable doses or ingredients not on the label. Be realistic about expectations. Whether you're supplementing or not, Zoki said no approach is going to magically make you look like Thor unless you happen to be Chris Hemsworth himself and around fucking gear. As such, it's important to set goals to that prioritize your own progress rather than comparing yourself to a Hollywood star. Everybody's body is different. I do the same workouts as Chris and eat the same and I don't look like him. Well, you're also not. Are you on fucking gear? Are you on the same cycle as him? I don't know. Anyways, um, I think it's re pretty reasonable. You know, it's obviously a bit, uh, I always think it's a bit you know, negligent to avoid saying the fact that Hemsworth and his, you know, stunt double or, you know, fucking sauce to the tits to prepare for these roles. But, you know, you include whatever information you feel you want to do in your own fucking articles. So anyways, the, uh, like if you actually look at the center fit stuff, like some of the stuff they promote is obviously more gen pop appealing. Like when you look into, you know, the 22 pound of muscle and got the 5% body fat and eight week claims by the stunt double using center fit, you know, that kind of shit is like deserves dismantling when they don't mention there's, you know, the use of gear whatsoever and they totally misrepresent the results you can get, you know, implying that when you use this app, this is the kind of stuff you get, you do to get Thor results. You know, I just, I just wish they would be more transparent with their shit. Although his statements about supplements are not off, dude. I definitely agree with the fact that if you could get everything through Whole Foods with relative ease, get the most micronutrient, you know, alternative, micronutrient dense alternatives of that same, you know, macronutrient intake. Great. If you can't, you know, supplements are definitely worth it. And using things like creatine when you have impaired methylation processes and you otherwise, you know, are not going to get enough through your normal ingestion of meat or you don't, you know, you have a meat absent diet, you know, supplementing with it can be definitely huge, not only for ergogenic aid in the gym, but as well as neurological processes, fertility, Lots of different shit that creatine does that a lot of people have no idea about. It has a myriad of different, you know, satellite interactions that are quite useful from a health and longevity and vitality standpoint, in my opinion, that often go overlooked because everyone thinks it's just an intramuscular hyperhydrating agent, essentially, and that is not the case whatsoever. So I think the creatine is often warranted for the majority of individuals, regardless if their diet is on point or not. But the protein shake thing, yeah, like, fuck, like, maybe you don't need it at all. There's a lot of people who... Well, most people's diets aren't on point, but if you did have an on point diet, you know, you're getting enough, you know, red meat or chicken or whatever your preferred form of forms of protein are, getting fish in, whatever it is. And you have like micronutrient alternative, micronutrient dense alternatives of that, you know, protein intake. Fucking great. You know, you don't need whey protein necessarily, but there are definitely individuals who benefit from it in certain aspects and scenarios that make it, you know, more warranted, but it's definitely not mandatory whatsoever. And yeah, people probably overemphasize the importance of this stuff when there are, you know, supplement stores and supplement companies that really drive home like aggressive marketing 
about, you know, gain this much muscle in this much time. Oh, improve your muscle protein synthesis by this much by using our special fucking protein or our special, you know, creatine that's buffered differently in order to be way more superior than what you could get from eating a fucking steak. Like, okay, dude, you know? So overall, I definitely agree with this. I thought this was going to be a horrible, you know, <laughs> I wasn't sure what this was going to be, to be honest, because the headline is pretty fucking uh, strongly worded, but it seems like this is more of a, you know, a clickbait style thing, not in a bad way necessarily, because it definitely got me to read it, but um, I'm pretty on board with the message, although I still think their, uh, you know, center fit shit can be pretty goddamn misleading, especially with, uh, you know, the uh, muscle growth, fat loss claims. You know, if you haven't seen that, I compel you to go see uh, me and Greg's videos on uh, Hemsworth and his body double and shit, and uh, you can see some of the ridiculous stuff that's gone on in the past. But other than that, pretty reasonable article, and I would, uh, in general, agree with the statements for the most part. You know, some of the creatine stuff is a bit more debatable though, in my opinion. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. All the comments help the algorithm and are much appreciated. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, mereplacemoredates.com, follow me on Instagram, and mereplacemoredates, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with. In the video description below, my TRT clinic, get high quality medical oversight from doctors who understand how to interpret diagnostics and what kind of lab work to even order in the first place. Check out my recommended diet model for micronutrient dense versions of you know the food items you should be choosing to include in a high quality muscle growth focused diet model as well as being mindful of sports performance gut health sleep hygiene and different practices that are often overlooked in most cookie cutter influencer diets um as well gorilla mind nootropic formulas gorilla mode pre-workout formulas i designed myself from scratch and anything else i'm associated with it is all in the video description below thank you guys for watching talk to you soon